in order for me to have a high toss, these are the few things that I think about right before I go and then as I go and then immediately as I throw. Okay, these are everything that I think about in one video for you. The very first thing I think about is my grip on her hips. I have my hands in the same spot that I would always have them, just around her hip bone. You can kind of feel the hip bone right here, but they're not grabbing too hard. I don't want to be too anxious. I just want to be relaxed and calm and collected right here in the beginning so I can be really fast off the bottom when I'm about to throw. Number two, I have to follow the flyer as she dips all the way to the ground, which is what I prefer. It has to be extremely fast off the bottom. Everyone says it, be fast off the bottom. Some girls don't dip all the way. They say, I can only go so far. Whatever, work with what you got. P.S. I would never single a flyer out when I use the examples. This is what I've learned over the years of stunting. I'm never going to use one flyer or base to use an example. It's through the generalness of all the years I've been stunting that is also a disclaimer. Here is how to be quick off the bottom. You have to not stay in a 90 degrees as you're dipping down. Do not stay in a 90 degree angle the entire time because you might think that's proper form, but actually you can only go so fast in this same body position. What I like to do is usually the flyer would go but lower and squat lower than I am. So I'm taller than her normally. So I'm taller than her and she'll squat down here and then I'm about here, I'm still pretty low. And, but my arms actually go lower. They extend down and this motion of when she bottoms out, which you try to help her off the ground, that's your goal to lift her up. Don't slam her in, let her go down and then lift her up to speed up her toss. My arms extend and it's almost like a rubber band where it just comes back up extremely quickly because all I do is I let my arms go and then I pull them back as quickly as I can. Right as I pull her off the ground and speeding up her jump, my goal is to not push her out of the line that she's already in, the line. The line means the flyer's like body line, okay? So do not push her out of that body line. Do not pull her in, obviously a common mistake, everyone knows this, and do not push her too far forward. I do believe that you have to push her a little forward in order for her feet to come up and meet you but I don't think it should be exaggerated. Too much of anything is obviously a bad thing. I think about my arms in the very beginning as she goes down and I do that really fast reflex. And then in the middle, when my arms, my hands actually come up to my chest level, it's this position as if you're gonna to toss a medicine ball as high as you possibly can. You'd squat and the, you'd hold the ball in your chest, right? You'd squat and then you throw the ball as hard as you possibly can. But you wouldn't throw the ball already halfway. You want to do this and then throw. You'd start here, dip, and then throw. This is where your arms are kind of resting, kind of on your chest. You dip with your legs, and then you jump with your legs. The ball kind of bounces off your chest and arms, and that helps it be pushed even further. And then, of course, you would flick at the very end just to give it that extra ounce. It's the same thing here, is that when you're dipping for the toss top or the over toss, if that's what you want to do, but it doesn't matter. If you want to get your toss higher, that's basically all it is. When you're dipping for it and you get your hands up to your chest, this is where the power comes from, and you're standing up, you're keeping your hands at your chest, you're standing up, standing up, standing up. As you start to stand up, you jump off the ground as tall, as high as possible. You just continuously work on jumping even higher, even higher, even higher. Right when you jump, you're up in the air and it should feel weightless. It should feel weightless at this point. You're as high as you can possibly jump and the flyer is just about to flick off. She's, got, she's pushing against your wrists and everything's just about to explode. At this point, you are off the ground and you're in the air and your arms are just about here. Your flyer is just about to flick through and this is the point where I focus on my elbows and I push all the way through my elbows and my goal is to push her hips like as if I'm pushing something in and I push your hips up and in and not up and out. Wherever you finish the throw, that's where it's going to go. Oh, that rhymed. If you throw it forward, it's going to go forward. If you throw it up and in, it's going to go up and in and you're going to see the line the entire time. If you throw it up and out, you're not going to know where it's going to go. At the very, 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 very end, I push all the way through my palms almost. So it's here and then I push, boom, and then my palms are what kind of send it all the way through. Elbows are such a huge thing, like I said, they explode through. 
the lockout of the very end of the toss. You stand as tall as you can. All you have to do is follow the flyer. Really do not try to do anything that the flyer isn't doing. You're basically a mirror or mimicked version of her. She goes and then you follow. Boom, and then you just finish it for her. And last but not least, to catch it at the very top, you finish all the way through, and then once your feet land back on the ground, all you do is leave your arms up in the already extended body lying in position, and you leave your hands up just like this, or if you catch an extension, it'd be like this, or platform, it's this. Stay up there, leave your hands up, and just wait for her feet to come up to your hands. Now, I get it. Sometimes when I started and I put the most effort I ever could into the toss, I still would only get it so high. It's a work in progress. It takes time to actually get the height. But know that you can get it higher without getting stronger. I went from barely getting it above my chest to getting it over toss that you can see in the thumbnail without getting any stronger. If you need more help, you can always message me on Instagram. It's just my name, Daniel Bayeski. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you consider subscribing, that'd mean a lot to me. I'll see you guys later.